Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you all. Getting ready to start the work week, and maybe some of you are getting ready to start a vacation. Hope that's so. If you don't have a vacation plan, definitely do so. It takes the edge off, and it gets you a chance to just rest your mind, rest your soul, and get back into the step of th uh, spring of things, too. But it's not talking about vacations today. We're going to be talking about moms after they deliver baby and after they come home and all their life is going to change. And believe it, I have been in this um, for the past four months um, as a husband, not so much as a mom, but I'm really seeing firsthand the uh, stress that puts it's put on uh, a woman emotionally. And my wife actually urged me to talk about this today. She was encouraging me like, Randy, you might want to talk, you, will, you probably want to talk about um, women after pregnancy because, you know, so much happens after that to a woman's body and not so much um, physical too, but also the emotional and hormonal aspects as well. So that's what we want to talk about today. We're going to talk about the stressed out mom afterwards because what happens is they get in such a mode where they're just getting to, in, in the drive to nurture their baby is so strong that... You know, you, you put yourselves aside and you forget to take care of yourselves. And that's where I see it's a problem because we can't give away what we don't have. We cannot give away what we don't have. And I tell you, you moms are notorious for this. I see moms that just, they're coming in, they give, they give, they give, they give. And the person they forget to give to is themselves. And you know what? And uh, uh, a cup can't pour from an empty cup, as so to say, if I got that analogy right. So what are some things that... You know, we're looking at to see moms when I, when I see them after pregnancy. So first of all, you know, mom, you're up all night. You're not getting much rest. Um, you're feeding every, you know, one, two hours, depending on the day. You know, just think baby used to get nourishment 24-7, and now they have to wait for two hours. And so that's something that, you know, the lack of sleep. Um, just the hormones that are fluctuating. You're trying to figure out your body again, and that's starting to take its toll. And we get stuck. And not to mention, if you have an epidural, there's some healing involved with that too. There's pelvic distortion. You know, you're pushing and pushing and pushing, and you know the hips they have some issues with it, and it causes neurological problems. So all of this, all of this leads to how your nervous system is functioning. And your nervous system, if it wasn't right before, it's definitely going to take its toll now. And what happens is you get stuck in a stressed state of mind. You get stuck in a stress pattern. And the nerves don't function correctly because you're just always chronically stressed, 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 stressed. And you never gave your body a chance to recover or your body just never functions right. So that's what we look at doing. And that's the hallmark of what I do as a chiropractor. I, I unstuck a stress pattern. I unstuck a stress system. And it's like you have your foot on the gas and your foot on the brake and you don't get recharged. And sometimes the, even the sleep you do get, you're not getting recharged. And what happens is that the chiropractic helps balance that. It helps you get recharged. It helps reset your nervous system so you can function better, so you can be a better mom to that baby. So it's not a matter of being selfish. It's you're giving yourself so you can give to others. You can give to yourself so you can give to others. And I want you to remember that, moms, because you do so much. And I got to tell you, I learned so much more from my wife being pregnant than I did in any textbook. I definitely learned more from my wife just watching her and what she went through and what she's going through. And she's under chiropractic care and she, she's dealing with this. But I guarantee she, far, she, um, she is far better off than a lot of you moms who um, maybe the delivery wasn't as it, you expected. Maybe your pregnancy had its ups and downs. And maybe their baby is having some challenges um, that you're trying to overcome where they're sleeping or they're having colic or they're having the ear infections or it's difficult nursing or they can't nurse um, or they're just um, they're getting gassy and, and they're getting constipated. And those are some things that it's like, what's happening to my baby? And you sit on the sidelines and you're saying, I don't know what to do. And as a mom, you start to feel inadequate. You start to feel like, I don't have what it takes to be a mom. And I don't want you to think that one bit. It's just, you need some help. You need some help. You need to get your nervous system rebalanced. You need to get out of that stuck state. And that's what we have. And that's why I'm in this room today. I know the lighting's not too good. I apologize for that. Sometimes it looked like I have dark eyes and it's like, oh my gosh, who's this guy that's talking to me with the dark eyes and the shiny head? But here's what we want to talk about. You know, this is a, this with this new technology, I'm able to see not only what's happening outside the body with the muscle spasms, how your posture's lined up, what you're actually doing, but it allows me to actually see what's happening inside your body as well. 
and it allows me to see how the nerves are functioning, more or less how they're stuck. And they're not getting out of pattern. So this is what we use. It feels like a toy truck, measures heat, and it allows me to see how your nerves are working good. And then another thing as well, how you're checking your muscles. Now, when we start checking the muscles and how much energy you're actually using just to maintain your posture, just to maintain that stuck state, you know, we start to see the three E's is what I call it. Um, as one of my mentors would say, you get stuck in the three E's. You're, you're lacking efficiency in how you're controlling your energy, especially at the end of preg after pregnancy. The hormones are ups and downs and you don't have any really control over what's happening. And then you start using energy. The efficiency is not there. So you lack the energy. Yeah, you lack the efficiency. It's like your nerves and your body short circuiting and the emotional control is hard too. And we see a lot of that. And in fact, when a lot of times people come in here, they start getting care, they start saying, I can handle stress better. My emotions are better. I got them under check. And that is awesome because you can think with a clear mind and you can think and can have peace of mind as well. And then we can check and see how bad, well your battery is getting recharged with three simple tests. It takes 10 minutes to do. It's not too hard at all. So I got to tell you, if you're one of these women that, you know, you're especially, you're stressed after pregnancy, um, I know you got to take some time to reheal. You want to be, um, you want to give yourself some time to be with the baby and get in a set pattern and get a routine. That definitely helps as well. But also getting your nervous system checked and making sure your nerves are functioning the best is going to help you recover faster. It's going to help you be a better parent. And especially for those parents that are maybe dealing with some challenged kids or you had a difficult pregnancy, it's going to help you recover way faster, way better. And then you can start in enjoying this time period, what you should be doing, you should be enjoying it rather than saying, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know what's going on. By all means, let me know what we can do to help you. I want you to have any questions or any comments, please comment. Um, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. And if you're thinking, man, this is something that I need to get taken care of right now, please let me know. Give our office a call. We can definitely handle any questions you have. I mean, it's just for a consultation. Those are complimentary in here. A 10-minute consultation can answer a lot of questions and uh, for you and can give you some help. So all that, I want you to have the best of days. Take care of yourself. God bless. And good for you moms for, for just stepping up to the plate. I am so enamored by you women who just you give birth and you give it all to your children. Take care. Bye-bye.